Today marks an exciting day for people with diabetes. President Joe Biden's federal budget proposal seeks to cap insulin prices for people with private insurance plans at only $35 a month. This comes months after the Inflation Reduction Act already capped insulin costs at $35 a month for seniors on Medicare, but left those without Medicare without any help. President Biden has made it clear that he believes no one in the United States should have to pay more than $35 a month for insulin, and has called on Congress to make that a reality. Unfortunately, the proposed price cap in the budget wouldn't cover people who are uninsured. Secretary of Health Xavier Becerra has proposed one of the fastest ways for this to be achieved, encouraging the 10 remaining states that have yet to expand Medicaid to do so. Medicaid is the public health insurance program for lower-income individuals and families. Drug maker Eli Lilly, who produces insulin injections, got ahead of the potential federal mandate by already announcing earlier this month that it would cap insulin at $35 a month for people with private insurance at certain retail pharmacies. While the move is a good start, CEO David Ricks pointed out that 7 out of 10 Americans do not use Lilly's insulin, thus calling on both federal policymakers and employers to help make the costs of the injections more affordable. President Biden has called on other manufacturers to make similar moves, while reiterating his call for Congress to lower insulin prices for everyone. One of the resistances to this is coming from Republicans in Congress, who are not on board with the move to cap insulin prices, referring to it as socialist and a federal mandate that could hurt market competition. Regardless of political opinion, the unveiling of this budget proposal has the power to drastically help those with diabetes in the country who can't afford the cost of life-saving insulin. To learn more about the potential changes and get involved in the conversation, join CNBC's Healthy Returns on March 29th. This virtual gathering of CEOs, scientists, investors and innovators will be discussing everything about the progress toward reinventing the future of medicine, including exclusive rundowns of the best investment opportunities in biopharma, health tech and managed care. It's time for all of us to unite and make a change for the better. Sign up today to join the conversation.